Hello, I'm a gardener on mixing our hydroponic uh, fertilizer. I have marked this bucket on the inside so that when I fill it to that line, I will have exactly one gallon of water. We need exactly one gallon of water because our fertilizer measurements are based on that, on one gallon of water. I'm putting in just a little more than a half a teaspoon. Now Brock at uh, Brock Hughes Channel said it's important to add the fertilizers in a specific order. So the, so the master blend is first. I'll get it mixed thoroughly with just a small amount of water first and then dump that in. The master blend dissolves pretty easy, but the other two fertilizers require more crushing to get them dissolved. Brock advises that if you don't mix the fertilizers in the right order, they could bind together in a way that would lock out the nutrients from your plants. Alright, so here goes the Epsom salts. When you stir it around that way, whatever isn't dissolved will collect right in the center of the cup and then that makes it more easy for you to uh, mash it up. Okay, so here goes the last of our fertilizer, the calcium nitrate, and next we have to adjust the pH. We're going to be using a pH testing meter to measure the pH of our water and it has to be stored in water to keep the sensing element from drying out. Now I'm swishing the uh, meter around in the fertilized water to wash off any of the water that was in the jar so that I can get a good and accurate reading of the water that's in the bucket. So it looks like we got a pH of about 6.8. So we want our pH number to go down, in other words, slightly more acid. And I'm going to do that using uh, concentrated lime juice, as you see in the bottle. I'm going to fill a dropper bottle with the lime juice. Now you could also use lemon juice, and that way I can control how much I drop into the water. First, I'm going to put in about 20 drops of lime juice and then we'll measure it again. Looks like we only dropped the pH by one, possibly two points. This time we'll add 40 drops of lime juice and measure it again. So this time we brought the pH down to 6.4, so we still need to do it a little more. I added another 40 drops of lime juice.
Looks like we got about 6.1. So that's good enough. We wanted it to be between 5.5 and 6.5. So now we're ready to fill our grow bucket. To get the water level in the grow bucket exactly where I want it, we'll have to put the lid on and we'll have to put an empty net cup in the hole. Now I want you to keep your eye on that raised portion down there in the bottom of the net cup. Looks like kind of like a, a button setting down there because we're going to bring the water level up to just above that. So now we got the water level where we want it. We got our fertilizer in, we got the pH adjusted, and we got our first grow bucket ready to receive a plant. 